NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Ben Frischette. Time right now is 618. You're taking a live look from our camera in Burlington this morning where the temperature is 24 degrees. A bit of a slight warm up from yesterday, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you'll see in a minute that that's about 10 degrees warmer than this time yesterday. So we'll certainly take it. Haven't had too many cold days so far this January. It's been very mild. It's been yeah. very mild. Actually, one of the warmest starts to January yeah. on record here, as far as I know. And uh, well, we're certainly getting back to winter as we move along. Now we'll have a little bit of winter weather later today, but the big ticket item in the forecast is still the storm that comes in Thursday into Friday, but this morning no issues over St. Albans. The temperature 21 degrees. The dew point is 20, so the air is still very dry, and that's why the ocean storm yesterday couldn't really do much in our neck of the woods. Most of the moisture just sort of fell apart over our heads, and it's still mostly clear in the Adirondacks. That's why it's down to one in Saranac Lake, two in Messina, but where there have been some pesky low lying clouds, temperatures have held steady through the overnight. Most of us in the 20s and 30s, and as we mentioned, that's about 10 degrees warmer than 24 hours ago in Burlington and Middlebury. So it's a difference for some of us that you will notice as you step out the door this morning. We'll start the day with some sun, but we'll mix in more clouds this afternoon. Temperatures will steadily rise into the mid 30s. There will be a light south breeze, but it's not as strong as the wind was yesterday. So wind chills will stay in the mid to upper 20s. Fairly comfortable for a mid January day. Here's the system that brings the chance for a wintry mix later today. Note that there isn't too much moisture and it's sort of crawling in at a snail's pace. So we have several dry hours ahead before we have to worry about that thing. In fact, I think most of the morning is totally fine. We'll show you future casts as we think about two, three o'clock. That's when some snow showers start to pop up over the Adirondacks. A little bit of light icing, rain and snow showers possible in southern Vermont too. And these mixed showers will keep coming through during the evening, overnight, even into early tomorrow. But by tomorrow morning, it's likely just a cold rain, at least in the Champlain Valley. Some of the mountains still getting a little bit of wet snow. Again, no big travel impacts, but it's one of those situations where some roads could turn icy and it's just good to be weather aware when these little systems come in. Now this will not be a little system towards the end of the week. This is a much bigger storm with a decent amount of moisture and the big difference compared to the past couple of storms. We actually have cold air to start things off with, so it comes in initially as a round of moderate to perhaps heavy snow Thursday night into early Friday. Now it's a fast moving system, so even though the main area of low pressure is out of here by Friday morning, there's still a lot of leftover energy over our heads. It's enough for periodic light to moderate snow showers through most of Friday. So although it doesn't look like a blockbuster, it's probably enough for the plows to come out for some shoveling to be needed. Again, this is Thursday night into Friday, and it's a mostly snow event aside from some light mixing that likely occurs in the wider valleys. This is a very early estimate just to get you an idea of the magnitude of snow I'm expecting. I'm thinking it's a general four to eight inches. At least that's what it looks like several days out. We'll refine that forecast as we get closer, but start thinking about travel plans towards the end of the week. Good news. Most of it is out of here by the weekend. Back to you. Still ahead here.